Hi, Caleb with Brunos here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the device from the device manufacturing. Uh, this is actually the device light. Uh, if you've seen me doing any AR work or anything like that in the past, you've seen me using the, the full version of this, which is just the device. Uh, we can probably turn this into a drinking game, take a shot every time I say the device. Uh, but no, that's actually what it's called. I guess you don't really need any other name whenever you have the tool. Uh, so this is a really good option for doing some AR-15 work. If you're just gonna build like one AR-15, this probably isn't the tool for you. Uh, it is a little bit pricey, but it's, in my opinion, one of the best tools out there, hands down. Uh, it's definitely the most solid for doing AR work. So what it actually is, it's a fixture for your upper receiver. Uh, it's a two-piece fixture. So the way it actually works, I'll just give you a run through here on it here. And uh, you just take your upper receiver, set it on there. Then you take the rod, push it in, and if it won't go any further, that's just your ejection port, so give it a bump, and it'll go all the way in and seat. And then you just hold the uh, bottom portion in your vise, and uh, just from there you can work on your upper receiver. And from here you can use it to install your dust cover, forward assist, uh, but where it really shines is installing your barrel assembly and handguard and stuff like that, because you can really put torque on the upper receiver without having to worry about anything now uh, because you're actually holding the full upper receiver and not just putting pressure on any particular point on the upper receiver, if that makes sense. So uh, that is where this tool really shines. Now, on the light version of this tool, which is what we have here, we also have a slot cut in the bottom. And this is actually an M-lock slot. So this aids us in installing M-lock accessories so as you can see, this tool is a little bit worn. That's just because I've been using the heck out of it. Uh, if you guys order one, obviously it won't come this way. Uh, but, so what we're gonna do, um, I'll show you how to use the, the M-lock area here. So what you would do is just take your M-lock accessory pieces here, like I have M-lock slots, and you just slide them into the rail. And from here, you can just take your accessory, put it there, and get it all set up, you know, however you're gonna do it before installing it on your firearm. Uh, because we know it's hard to kinda, whenever you're messing with M-lock accessories, it's hard to fajangle them on the firearm, you know, and fajangle is the technical term. Uh, that's fajangle with the F, not with a B, that's bojangles. And uh, then you start craving biscuits, and then you end up thinking about that, and. It would be insane if like you could end up with like cane sauce and Bojangle biscuits. I don't know, anyways, I'm getting way off track here. All right, so that is the device lights from the device manufacturing. If you've used this tool or their full version, uh, let us know in the comments down below. I know I really like this tool. I have a, I've had awesome experiences with it so far uh, throughout this whole year. Uh, so if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.